first off, I want to thank everyone for being here. Um, it's been a, a, an honor and a pleasure to speak with you. I'm going to stay afterwards. I'd like to meet as many of you as I can. Um, <clears throat> I love our country. Um, I won the geographic lottery like we all did by being born here. And it's something that we should cherish. And it's something that can easily go away. Um, and if we're not careful, this election is going to be very, very important. And I will say, there's not a bad choice up here. There's only better choices. I would ask for your support. I feel I have the required, the required knowledge. I have the experience. I've worked at, when I was deployed overseas, I worked at a very high level. I worked on bilateral agreements between countries. I, I, I feel I can bring a lot to this job, and I feel like I can really bring integrity to the, thing, to the office. <clears throat> there's two things that are really required integrity and good judgment. And if you have those two things, I think you'll be all right. So I would just ask for your support. I don't want your money. I want your support. I want to get money out of the campaigns. Money is poisoning this country. Corporations do not have the right to vote, but yet corporations have the power of the purse. Corporations are the ones that are influencing all of these candidates, and the only thing they're concerned about is their re-election. We need to stop that. That's the one thing that's happening. It's leading to an internal corruption of our country that we need to stop. So I would say this. Term limits are very, very important. <coughs> Get rid of the pensions for elected officials and stop the, stop the flow of money to political campaigns. We need to make people accountable. We need to make publicly funded elections something that we should have. We should hold candidates to this strict thing where they're not beholden to special interests because they're selling us out little by little. Thanks. Thank you, Ben. Lynn? Well, thank you to the Merrimack County GOP for a great event, and thank you to Keith for being a tremendous uh, moderator. Great job. And thank you to all of you for coming out tonight and sitting out in the under a tent. It's great to be out and out with no masks, which I love to see. So um, thank you all for that. So I've spent my entire life running toward the fight. Um, you know, Ann Custer, who says she runs and hides and that she's scared of Nancy Pelosi, that's not me. When I sat over in Afghanistan and I held a bomb in my hand that was strapped to an Afghan woman who was coming in for treatment, I stood strong. I didn't run and hide. And that's exactly what I'll do for all of us in Congress as well. You know, um, I've also won in difficult seats. I've won in difficult races and I've been a winner in a difficult race. Um, in 2009 and to 2012 I served in the New Hampshire House and I was elected as a, a House of Representatives member in the most liberal district in this state. And I didn't just get elected once, I got elected twice. So I can be elected in a difficult race and this is just another one of those difficult seats that a, you know, a person like me can definitely win. But as we get into to, um, the primary and definitely into the general election, this is a race about who can beat Ann Custer. We have got to take on Ann Custer. The future of the state of New Hampshire and the future of this country lies, and, you know, we say it all the time, it's so cliche, right? Like, oh, this is the most important election of our lifetime. But in my lifetime, we have never been on the cusp of socialism like we are now. And so this is an important election, election and uh, we've got to get the right candidate to go against Dan Custer. So I'm going to invite all of you guys to join the fight tonight with Lynn. You can go to blankenbecker.com and join the fight with us tonight. We are going to take on Ann Custer and you all can be part of history because I will be the first female Republican Congresswoman from the state of New Hampshire when you guys all elect me. So go to blankenbecker.com and thank you all. God bless you and God bless the state of New Hampshire and this great country. Thank you, Lynn.